is going to be a flow for anxiety relief and we're going to get straight into it. So I'd like you to start on your front, either in child's pose, <clears throat> on your hands and knees, and then you drop your bum back towards your heels. Reach your hands out and make sure that you can support your head. So you're either bringing your hands under your head, forehead to the floor, or to a pillow or a block. If this is a little much right now, as it will be for many of us in our bodies, you can come forward and lie on your front. We won't be here for too long. Find a position that feels supportive. Straight away, start to notice. We aren't going to overthink. We're not trying to figure anything out or question. In this practice, start to remove that completely by noticing things openly. So right now you can notice the earth beneath you, feeling the sensation of an entire planet holding you up. notice the outline of your body without any criticism or judgment and then start to notice your inner universe. Again we are just taking a moment to notice without attaching, without allowing what is there to upset us. You're just viewing how we are in this moment and allowing that to be, however that is. We're not going to try to force any changes. Rather, just invite the body to start to move and be in a different way. So now start to focus on your breath. As you breathe in, take the breath in slowly. Breathe all the way down into your pelvis. And as you breathe out, relax your body. If you like, you can count your breath. Very useful if your mind is very busy. We will all have a different number. Find your number by breathing in slowly and counting. For example, one, two, three, four, five. And then try to match your exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. This is an internal counting. And you can use it at any point in the practice or out of the practice as a tool to help you focus into this moment. In this moment, right now, all is well. Things are simple here as we are close to the earth. Just watching our own breath. From here, keeping your breath, you can keep counting if you like, or come back to it later. Slowly start to reach your hands forward. We're going to slide on our forearms all the way onto our belly if we weren't there already. So we're finding Sphinx pose just before we start to fly. Shoulders under, sorry, shoulders over the elbows. Fingers point forward. Press the tops of your feet down just a little bit. As you breathe in, use your elbows to pull your heart forward gently. And take a couple of those breaths. If you feel comfortable at any time, close your eyes. 
Otherwise, you can half close your eyes. Bring your vision to a still point. And softly gaze there as you breathe. want to open out a little bit more, you can slide the right hand down towards your rib cage, maybe come onto the fingertips and roll onto your left side. Plant your left hand and lift the elbow up, you can bring it in a little. And we're going to keep that elbow bent so you're not locking the arm out. From here let the shoulder move up towards your ear, you can straighten out your legs or bend them. And take a breath or two into the space in your side body. Focus your vision onto something still. One more breath in. And as we breathe out, bring yourself back through the centre slowly. Roll to the other side. Keeping that right elbow bent, the hand is away from your shoulder, it's not stacked under it. Allow the shoulder to move up to your ear and take at least two breaths. Next breath in, roll onto your belly. So we're coming up in our own way to hands and knees. And you can come up on forearms, climb up. As we move through this flow, we are all going to move differently, so don't get hung up on that. We are searching for an inner feeling. The poses can help us, but it doesn't really matter how perfectly aligned your foot is matters how that feels in your body. So as much as I'm going to guide you, make sure that you're listening, but not over-analyzing. So two options here, tucking the toes, take a big breath in. You can stay in your table or lift the hips slowly into Adho Mukha, Svanasana, down and facing dog. Relax your head, bend the knees. Try to press through the fingers, knuckles, and palms of the hands. It's almost like you're doing, we kind of are handstand training. You're trying to stack your body straight and bend the legs to assist this. Big breath in through the nose. As you breathe out, let's look forward. We're taking a slow walk to the top of the mat. Slow flow today, we're keeping everything calm soothing to our central nervous system. If you'd rather walk your hands back towards your feet, you can move in your own way. When you get to the top, bring the hands onto your thighs, draw the shoulders back and take a big breath in. As you breathe out, bend your knees and pour yourself down over the legs, just as far as is comfortable. As you breathe in, tuck the tailbone, Start to wave yourself up, the head and the arms stay heavy. Push the floor away and take several breaths to rise. As you breathe in, reach your hands up, full body stretch. Connect the palms above your head and as you breathe out, draw the hands down into your heart. Again, inhale, circle the arms back, press the floor away with your feet. Move slowly, and as you exhale, connect the hands and draw them down. One more time like that. Move so slowly that you can feel the air molecules sliding out the way of your fingers. Imagining you're moving through honey. As you exhale this time, stick your bum back, bend your knees. Slow dive all the way down. Notice the sensations in your body. Some of them might not even have names. We don't have to name them. As you breathe in now, lift up halfway. Hands to the legs or fingertips to the floor. And exhale, fold. Two more waves like that. Inhale, lift yourself up halfway. Slow motion, charge the hips back, head forward. And exhale, drape over your legs. 
One more breath in like that. Inhale, lift up. So we're stepping the left foot back on our exhale. If your hands are on your legs, just bring both hands to your right leg. If the hands are on the floor, use the floor for support. Lift the foot up and then step it back over a meter or about a meter. <laughs> and then see if you can bring that back heel down with the toes pointing out to the side. So from here, bring your hands to your hips. You're guiding both hips towards the top of the mat. And then as you breathe in, push down through your feet, lift your hands up. Wave up into a warrior one pose. Make sure you can see your toes. As you exhale, bend your elbows, bring the hands down behind your back. Interlace the fingers. Ground through your feet, feel strong and breathe in to lift your heart up. As you breathe out, slowly, strong legs. Just move as far forward as feels comfortable for you. You're trying to hinge and not round. Keep breathing. Count your breath whenever you want to. Press strongly into your legs and allow those sensations to be your main focus. If you like, for one breath in, you can lift the hands away from the low back. And as you breathe out, release the hands all the way back down. Pick up your back heel, take a breath in to lift your bum up. As you breathe out, slide back to either downward facing dog or tabletop pose. As we breathe in, look forward and lower to both knees at the exact same time. As you breathe out, begin to bring your bum back. Keep breathing, tuck your tailbone round your spine and rise all the way up onto your knees. Next breath in, open out. Next breath out, bum back, hands forward. See if you can lower yourself all the way back down. Planting onto hands and knees, your table top, take a big breath in. And as you breathe out, rock yourself back, find your downward facing dog. As you inhale, look forward, lift up onto your toes. And then exhale, tiptoe, or travel to the top of the mat in your own way. Next breath in, lift yourself up halfway. Next breath out, fold. Next breath in, slowly, you can round your spine if you like, or reverse your swan dive. There's no rush here. Keep breathing. When you get to the top, inhale to reach your hands up high. And exhale straight away, bum back, head forward. Dive all the way down. Next breath in, lift yourself up halfway, nice long spine. And as you exhale, step the right foot back, you pick the foot up. Lower it down, set up your warrior one legs. Left toes forward, right toes out to the side. Inhale, touch onto your hips just to check what's going on there. Exhale, press through your feet. And then as you breathe in, lift your hands up, strong legs grounding you. As you breathe out, cactus your arms. And then bring your hands to your low back and lace the fingers. Big breath in to draw the elbows back, open up your heart. And breathe out, you can fold just as far forward as feels good for you. Stay here for a breath or two. And with your next inhale, option to lift the hands away from your low back. Keep your elbows back. With your next breath out, release. Bring everything down to the floor, frame your front foot. Lift your back heel and step back to your downward facing dog. Next breath in, look forward, lower to your knees. Next breath out, bum goes back, but then tuck your tailbone. And as you inhale, lift your arms up. As you exhale, hips back, lower yourself towards a active child's pose. And then inhale, lift yourself to a tabletop. 
Exhale, find your downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward and travel to the top of the mat in your own way. When you get to the top, inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale to fold over your legs. As you rise slowly, choose your journey. Keep breathing. When you get to the top, reach your hands up high, fill your body with breath. As you breathe out, dive all the way back down. Feel your fingers moving through the air. With your next breath in, lift up halfway, long spine, and pick up your left foot. As you breathe out, lower the foot down, find your warrior one legs. Next breath in, lift your hands up, press through your feet. Next breath out, cactus your arms. Lower the hands all the way down to your low back. Inhale, charge your heart forward by pressing the elbows towards each other. And exhale, look forward. Dive. Breathing in, option to lift the hands away from your low back. As you breathe out, look forward, lower the hands. Lift the back heel. Inhale to lift your hips up high. Exhale, push the floor away. Slide the right foot back to meet the left. As you breathe in, lower both knees slowly. And as you breathe out, hips back, round the spine. Wave yourself up. With your next breath out, lower down slowly. Hips back, hands forward. And then inhale, bring yourself up to a tabletop. Exhale, tuck your toes, rock it backwards, downward facing dog. A little different this time, inhale, pick your right foot up any height. As you exhale, draw the knee in towards your heart. Move the shoulders forward, carry the leg, and step that right foot up. From here, pick up your left foot, Try and keep a neutral spine. And then exhale, bring your left foot in, down next to the right and fold over your legs. Next breath in here, rise up in your own way. Keep breathing. When you get to the top, take an extra breath in. As you exhale, dive all the way back down. Next inhale, take a halfway lift. As you do so, pick the right foot up. And as you exhale, bring that right foot down. Set up your legs for warrior one. Next inhale, strong legs ground you as you lift up. And as you exhale, cactus your arms. <clears throat> Lower them down and lace your fingers. Next breath in, opens out your heart. Next breath out, takes you forward, just as far forward as feels good in your body. Inhale, option to lift the hands away. As you exhale, release your hands. Frame your front foot, lift the back heel, and slide your way all the way back to your downward facing dog. Breathe in, flow forward, lower onto your knees. Breathe out, hips go back, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, press through your knees to lift up high. As you exhale, bum back, heart forward. Active child's pose-ish. And then inhale, come up into your tabletop. Exhale, slowly press yourself back. We're not rushing through movements. Slowing down allows you to feel. And this time a little different as you breathe in, lift your left foot up. As you breathe out, bend the knee, draw it in towards your heart. And then move the shoulders forward, step that foot up. Take a 
and place it if it's okay the whole way. From here, weight into your left foot, press down, maybe lift the right leg. Exhale, bring the right foot to meet the left, fold over your left. One more time through this. As you breathe in, you can slowly rise, choose how you would like to do so. Get to the top, remember to take a big breath in and reach up high. As you exhale, bum back, heart forward. Slow, meaningful movements. As you inhale, lift up halfway, lift your left leg. Try not to get it higher than your hip. And as you exhale, lower the toes, lower the heel, find your warrior one legs. Inhale, lift the hands up. Exhale, cactus your arms, lower and clasp. Big breath in, open out your chest. As you exhale, fold forward. Inhale to lift the hands away, maybe. As you exhale, release. Hands down to frame the front foot. Lift the back heel up and take a big breath in. As you exhale, slide the right foot back to meet the left. Inhale to your lower onto both knees. As you exhale, bum goes back, tuck the tail, and wave yourself all the way up. As you exhale, hands forward, bum back. As you inhale, find your tabletop. Tuck your toes, find your down dog. Take a big breath in and lift your right foot high. Little different this time, bend the knee, send it towards the back of the right arm, setting up for pigeon pose. You can bring the left foot behind the left hand and then start to lower your hips down. We're trying to keep this really active. So this right leg is activated, squeezed a little bit, and you're kind of trying to pull the feet towards each other. If this is just all kinds of wrong, you can. It's a really, really good alternative. Lie on your back, so that's even better. And make that figure four, supporting your active right leg on your left thigh. Whichever option you're choosing, Keep the legs active so they're not just being pushed into a shape. Squeeze the feet towards each other, take a big breath in. As you breathe out, if you would like to come down, please support yourself on your forearms. And don't allow your torso to put too much pressure on your leg. So you can use cushions or blocks under your arms to get some space. back to counting your breath. And take a moment to notice everything that's happening within you right now, in this moment. These positive processes that are reacting to all of our movements. Let's take one more big breath in. As we breathe out, start to climb up. Plant your hands under your shoulders. Tuck those back toes. From here, you can lift your hips. Maybe slide that right foot back and air it out for a three-legged down dog with a cock leg. And then as you breathe out, look forward. Right foot to the top of the mat. Crawl your hands a little further forward and then press to lift your left leg. As you exhale, bring that left leg down, fold over them. And as you breathe in, rise in your own way. Slowly push the floor away with your feet. Swim through the air, breathe in at the top. As you exhale, bum back, heart forward. Glide through space, all the way back down. Next inhale, lift up halfway, lift your right leg. Next 
Exhale, lower those right toes, the right heel. Inhale to lift your hands up. Exhale, bend the elbows, clasp the hands, and inhale, open out your chest. Breathe out, move forward. Allow the breath to take you to your depth. Strong legs round you, breathe in to lift your arms. Breathe out, look down, release your hands. Lift the back heel, breathe in to lift your hips. And breathe out, step it back, downward facing dog. Look forward, lower to both knees. Exhale, bring your bum back, tuck the tail, wave yourself up. Inhale, lift your arms up high. As you breathe out, reach your hands forward. Use your bum like a counterweight. <laughs> See how slowly you can lower. From here, inhale to your tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Next, inhale, lift the left leg up slowly. Then bend the knee and bring that left knee towards the back of your left arm. Left foot towards the back of your right hand. You can have the foot really in towards your hips, or the shin can be lining up with the top of the mat. But we don't really want to go further than that. Anywhere in between is fine. We can keep the hips active by trying to squeeze the feet towards each other. Have a little look at your back leg. Take a big breath in. As you breathe out, maybe you want to come down onto your forearms. When you drop in like this, it's a good place to practice that observing. Just trying to notice things without attaching our human conditioning to them. Conditioning of modern life, how we should feel. Remove all the labels and just allow yourself to experience openly. Let's stay for one more big breath in. And then let's start to bring ourselves out, hands under the shoulders. Tuck those back toes. Lift your hips up. Maybe we slide the left foot out and come to a three leg down dog with a cut leg. And then look forward, bring that left foot just behind your hands. Weight into the left foot. Inhale to move forward. Exhale, fold over your legs. Stay here in Uttanasana for a moment. Bend your legs as much as you want to. You can lace your arms up. Keep your breath full. It's okay that we forget about our breathing and other aspects of our practice while we're doing it. We don't need to get frustrated, it's completely natural. And getting frustrated is just kind of a waste of energy sometimes. So instead, just see how you are. And if you don't feel how you expect or how you wanted to, fine. We're not going to hold on to that. Things will change again. So from here, release your arms if they were bound and take a slow roll up. Maybe even slower than before. Moving through your spine you get to the top, inhale, reach your arms up high, come onto your toes. And as you exhale, start to sit down, bending the knees, seeing how slowly you can lower. Let these feelings of challenge be a draw. This is where our growth lies. Bring the hands down whenever you want to. If you 
made it into a tight balance and stay for a second. Ultimately, we're gonna end up on our bum, so it doesn't really matter how you get there. Move safely. Scoot yourself all the way to the bottom of the mat. Make sure you've got space behind you. Take a big breath in, lift your hands up. As you breathe out, either roll down softly by holding onto your legs, or roll down, challenging yourself. Still breathing. When your shoulders land, slide your legs out, slide your arms out, find your most comfortable position for Shavasana. Shavasana can be this starfish shape, we can bend the legs and plant the feet and rest the knees together to modify it. You can take a comfortable seat. You can go back to your child's pose. Can release control of the breath. But if you want to stay with it, that's fine. We're tuning in, noticing the support of the earth beneath us. Noticing how gravity is holding us here safely. Can you notice anywhere in your body where you are still resisting gravity? This part of our class allows for deep healing and growth. our processes can get to work uninterrupted. So try to allow yourself to do nothing as much as possible. You can, however, search for the soft focus for these areas. Sensations of letting go of tension. Just observing like you would looking up in a cloudy sky. Watching it openly, not really attaching meaning to anything. Gazing with a soft focus. Closing your eyes. It's causing things to get noisier. Keep your eyes half open, so you're still softening your focus. And just bring your vision onto a single point. You can stay here for as long as you like. Observing those processes of letting go. When you are ready to back out, make sure you move slowly. Make sure that you are kind to yourself when you emerge. No judgmental thoughts of how we should feel. We don't need that pressure. And see if you can notice anything new that you have created whether it has a name or not. Thank you so much. Namaste.